We are back on the ice and we have one goal. Do you know what that goal is, Matt? Can you guess what the goal is for this trip? To introduce all your subscribers to Ice Mountain Adventures. Yes, that is exactly, I'm actually impressed that you knew. Last time I did a very bad job of saying Icebound Adventures the whole time. It is Icebound Excursions. Hey Matt, what's happened since last year? Seems like your family has grown a little bit. Yeah, we uh, apparently leave these things sit over the summer and they multiply, so there we've got go. two machines now and uh, we're, we're sitting at the edge of the lake, making it a little easier for uh, setting up big groups. Yeah. So we can ho handle up to eight people now, so. We're on the west side of Lake Winnipeg. He's got a sweet access spot here. Totally. I don't know why I have sunglasses on at uh, <laughs> seven in the morning here. It's early. Yeah, season started up, like right now we're in the uh, testing and scouting phase. Uh, so I haven't started taking customers out. That starts on the 27th. Um, usually we open up a little earlier once we see those good conditions, but this year at the high water level, we're just gonna wait it out. Yeah. Um, so Matt and I have a, a contest today. He's gonna be in the other snow bear. And we said, whoever catches the biggest walleye gets to keep the snow bear. Pressure's on. <laughs> Pressure's on. Oh yeah, and it's our anniversary today. Happy anniversary. All right, we're out here, Lake Winnipeg baby, looking for greenbacks, fishing in a snow bear. And you know what those stars mean? Every one of those stars is a trophy greenback walleye that's been caught in the shack. So we're hoping to add to the list. We're fishing for two days. Let's start right now. <laughs> oh, we got multiple marks. You're on? Nice. Yeah. Not big. Hey! We did it! We did it! <laughs> right. How long did that take? So wiggly. I don't know. A minute? Okay, going back. There was more fish down there. Icebound excursions. <laughs> Number one. Good job. I can't even tell what's going on right now. I'm gonna crank my game. That'll help sort out my life. Yeah, I got him. Oh, nice. We're doing it. They seem to be liking the rattle baits. Haven't even put a third line out yet. There we go. Number two, not big yet. But last time we did this trip, we caught like four fish each day. So we're already at two. So we're doing pretty good. I got the like Finding Nemo colored tantrum. Sam's got the more minnow pattern. I'm sorry, Finding Nemo? Yeah, Finding Nemo. Is that like Finding Nemo? Have you seen that movie? Big Mark, Big Mark. Big Mark, come on. Oh baby, oh baby. Come eat, oh he's charged up. He's charged, he's all over it. Oh and he flickered back down. He's coming back, oh he's charging fast. Oh, oh! Would you say life with me is a roller coaster of emotions? Yes, Jay has some up and down moments, usually every two to three minutes. <laughs> nice hair, where'd you get it done? Another thing that I've learned this year is that Jay can have a conversation all by himself. He is just yuppie, 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 yuppie. Stop it. Oh, that's a huge mark. Oh, I'm nervous. Yes. I don't know if he's that big. Oh, I think he's hooked. I think I lost him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, he's not that big. Everybody, everybody relax. Everybody relax. These marks look so big in six feet of water. Nice, like probably 18, 19 inch fish. I put my boots on the wrong feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, this is a nicer fish. They're getting bigger. That's the green we're looking for. Holy smokes. Okay, this one's going back. That was insane. Come on, come back. He's about to eat. Yes. Oh man, I've lost, oh, I didn't lose him. Sorry, Matt. 
Oh, huge mark, huge mark. As soon, oh, I was gonna make a nice anniversary post and this massive mark just came up to me. Oh, dead stick, dead stick, dead stick. Sam, 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 he's on it, set it, set it. Take your time, that looks like a bigger fish. Jeez, I was gonna make a nice anniversary post. This is definitely a bigger fish. Uh, I don't wanna break that rod. Take your time at the hole here. Slow, slow, slow. He's right there. <laughs> what do you think? This is insane. We haven't seen it yet. Those are big head shakes. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. Oh, that's big. That's big. Okay, this is a big fish. We're measuring it. 70 centimeters, whatever that is. 27 and a half, 27 and three quarters. You wanna hold it up, Sam? There we go. <laughs> Sam's big walleye on our anniversary. Doesn't get much better. 27, 27 and a half, somewhere in there. Look at that fish. That fish is like nine pounds all day. Gone. That was it. Tiny tungsten jig with a salted minnow. You guys have heard about this rod so much. Sam, which one is that? Dipstick. The dipstick, my favorite dead stick rod. My favorite all around rod in the series, 39 light. It's a glass rod, it has a lot of bend. Even though it wasn't a master, who cares? Cause that's a big fish. People get caught up with the master angler sometimes. Amazing program, but never let it take away the joy of an incredible fish. <coughs> Are you for real? What? You're taking everything for yourself. I asked you if you wanted any and I gave you a piece. I thought we were sharing. Absolutely not. You don't need any more cheese in that belly of yours. <laughs> How'd you describe being married to me? An everyday challenge. I need to turn the gain up or something. Oh, yep. And I lost him. Oh, no. No, I didn't. Angry greenback walleye. These greenbacks are green because of supposedly it's the limestone sediment in the lake. And that's what gives it that hue there. I, I don't know if there's walleyes anywhere else that look like that, but I'm gonna get untangled and I'm gonna keep ripping my rattle bait. Nice mark, nice mark. Matt's good luck. Oh, oh, he's all over it. No stand. He's coming back. No stand. Oh. Look at this, landed by the man himself. Your good luck. Go. That's a little above our average. You can just toss him back. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, it's back. <laughs> We're doing it. This is good action. For you. Good action. Yeah, Sam. Sam just is more of a trophy angler. All right, going back. Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gotta soar back. When I wake up, well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who wakes up next to you. Cause I will walk 500. I mean, they're all big marks. This could be just another 20 incher, but uh, yeah, it's not big. But the fish are back, baby. As you can see, I'm in sweats and socks. We're fishing in comfort. It is getting nasty outside, but it is warm inside. And we're still catching fish. So while buying a snow bear might not be um, uh, practical for everybody, I think renting a snow bear is pretty practical. You don't have to worry about, you know, is there too much snow? Is it gonna be too cold? Cause there's times where I've just, you know, it's a minus 45 wind chill and you just cancel the trip. With this, I mean, last year it's like a minus 40 something wind chill. Today it's in the minus, 30 something wind chill and it's like, Sam is, you know, fishing in a sweater, which is the best part. You split this between a couple people and it's 
not that expensive. He's got graphs. He's got, uh, I don't even know what's all included. It's all on the website. You can book through the website. It's super easy. Snow bear excursions, not adventures, excursions. Icebound. What did I say? Snow bear. Come on, no, no. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Icebound excursions. Icebound Oh, he's gonna come eat it. Oh, oh, he's just, he charged it. Yep. Oh, oh, I think I lost him. Nope. We're catching walleyes in comfort. Okay. Well, I love her, but I love to fish. Spend all day out on this lake. And heck is all I catch. But today she met me at the door. Said I would have to choose. If I hit that fishing hole today, she'd be packing all her things and she'd be gone by noon. Fill everybody in on your latest business venture. Ow! Ouch! Hold on. What have we got here? What are we looking at? I painted this. <laughs> nice. By myself. All right, Sam, show us your jig. Barbara's been pinched, minnow has been applied. There we go. Sam's jig's launching April 2020. Now he's chasing back up. He just wants to kill it. Sorry, Matt. We got one goal right now. What is that, Sam? I want to catch a fish using my jig that I painted. That scared me. That's a nice fish. Like Winnipeg. Snow bear icebound adventure excursions. Icebound excursions. All right, this is our heavier active rod. Uh, this is the 38 true grit this is your rattle bait jigging spoon rod and this is the burnt series so this is the non-recoil guides if i were to bend this it might just bend or not pop back so this is a 3000 size spinning reel most of the time i'm using my open water reels like a 2500 or 3000 size stratic uh, anywhere between 8 and 10 pound braid so i like to use 12 pound fluoro a little bit heavier but we're fishing for big fish if i was fishing for smaller walleyes eight would be fine that's enough talking we're gonna get back to some freshwater angling She's on. <laughs> That's a beautiful fish. It's probably your second biggest of the day. Thanks. Good job. Thanks. Will Sam catch a fish on her pink custom painted jig? Yes. Yes. Left it! I did it! There you go. Sam's jig got it done. Nice. Lake Winnipeg walleye. Mm, yes. I have accomplished all my goals today. Oh. That fish just came in and drilled it. Guys, look at this. They are just chowing just chowing like dead stick i don't know how many times i've lifted up my rod and this rattle bait has been smashed by a walleye Alrighty, quick look nice just we got like half an hour to go this has been quite the flurry of activity all right going back if i were to guess it they were probably at like over 20 i would think a lot of fish a lot of fish what? What? Oh, he's right there. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I did nothing for you. Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> okay, you can put it back. That's good. Look at its dorsal fin. Yeah. Yeah, that's oh. weird. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's sad. Do you have trouble steering? <laughs> okay, put it back. He's about to charge. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Big Mark. It's been quiet for a while. Come on. 
<laughs> just killed it. We were just about to leave. This may be our last fish of the night, but not our last fish of the trip. Because we got one more day, and that is what they've been doing all day. Icebound excursions. I'm getting the name. I will nail it by the end of this trip. They're hungry. They are hungry. Okay. Bye, little guy. I thought the dead stick was moving. All right. We will see you back at the hotel. So, guys, this is where we're staying. This is the Canalta. It's just outside of Selkirk, and it's such a good location. It is... Walking distance within BP, Boston Pizza, Tim Hortons, and Canadian Tire. And I think maybe a Walmart too, which is anything you need for convenience. And you're 20 minutes from fishing, and you've got a pool, and you've got Sam. This is nice. Let's go look at the pool. Ooh. Five bucks if you jump in in your bibs. Sam? You are a, a connoisseur of hotels and accommodations. How do you feel about this place? This is up to your standard. This is the best place that we've ever stayed. <laughs> <laughs> Would you come back to this hotel? Yes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Canalta, Selkirk. Guys, like I said, it's only 25 minutes from the west side of the lake. Super ideal. But anyways, enough talking. Day two, our last day on Lake Winnipeg. Here we go. Okay, we made it 7.25, sunset is 8.20, so that, that's pretty good. That's earlier than I often get going. It is also the shortest day of the year. Holy smokes. We're not keeping track, but I mean, I guess we are today. That's number one, and we're keeping some fish today. That is a perfect eater. And the rattlebait seems to be doing the trick still. So he's gonna go in the bucket. I'm gonna dispatch him quickly. Oh, that looks better. He just smacked it. Good job, Sam. We are off to a good start. All right, Sam. Rattlebait did it. Might be onto something. I wish we would have known the rattlebait bite was on yesterday. Yeah, who knew? Matt got a big fish. We're gonna go visit Matt. <laughs> That's slippery. Well, Matt came through. Are you okay? What do you got, Matt? Get a nice wow. photo. Ooh, that's big. Sun peeking through. And Amazing. now we can get it back in the water nice and quick. Man. And just like that, it's gone. Yeah, good one. Awesome. Yeah, we're, what you said that was the same as Sam, so we're tied for. Tied for who gets to keep it. Okay, well, we'll keep one snowbear. You keep one snowbear. Okay, it's good. Like plan. Oh, quick, 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 quick. Point it at me. Point it at me. Point oh. <laughs> Fish are biting. Holy smokes. This is good, guys. This is good. Day two, Lake Winnipeg. Icebound excursions. And they're chowing it. Just chowing the rattle bait. There's Mark. Oh. Sam is on. Man, the fish are snapping. And I'm like, not even rattling. Not even rattling. Nice fish, Sam. I gotta look over to see if I'm getting... Oh, he's on it. Look at your face. Look at your face. I can't you see. You look evil. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're hilarious. You're a hindrance. Snow bear life is good. Men, take your wives on a snow bear excursion. Beautiful. Yeah, let's put that one back. Yeah. We'll get a smaller one to eat. Good job. Oh. As I was about to say, today we slid a little bit deeper. We're in uh, about eight, nine feet of water. Yesterday we were in six feet of water. And we're putting this smack down on them. This is, this is the best bite I've had on the South Basin. Not that I fished it a ton, but just for numbers of fish. Oh, he's charging. Oh, he's charging. Ooh. Ooh. This is so much fun. What's with the dorsals on these fish?
Did I miss anything? Nope. The dead stick looks really bent. That was weird. I want to. Oh. Oh. Nope. What do we got? That feels a little bigger. That's a nicer fish. I was, I didn't even mark it. I mean, I marked him once he was on top of it, but he kind of just decided he wanted to eat it. Well, even though there are kind of feeding windows throughout the day, it seems like the big fish can come at any point. Our biggest one yesterday came at 11.30. What time is it now? 10 after 11. Yeah, 10 after 11. So maybe, who knows? Who knows why, but. So we're in the snow bear with Matt. Matt, what are you gonna show us? He'll give us the breakdown on how to move this sucker. Yeah, we're gonna kind of show you guys how we uh, move to a new spot here. So we're gonna start with lifting up. So usually what I do is as soon as I know I'm gonna move, get the engine started, get everything warmed up, get iced up, kick on the inside there, throw the covers in place. Okay, seat moves from the side spot to the middle spot. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make sure it's in park first off. You wanna get it up just between, you know, 1500, 2000 RPMs. So give it a little gas while you raise it? While you raise it. So right about there, just hit the raise button. And what are you watching? You're just watching the skis to kind of tell? That's, is that the I'm easiest? I'm just watching the hood against the snow in front of me. So once that stops, I know the front's up. Okay. And I'll just look out the, the back window of the snow bear. Yeah. And then just same thing, watch that horizon and watch it level out behind me. And now we're leveled out, so we're good to go. And then well, yeah, once you get to your spot, make sure it's in park. You're gonna do the exact same thing as coming up. You're gonna go down. Again, get it up to about 1,500, 2,000 RPMs. Hit that lower button. Pop the cover off. Put the sleeve down in the center. Step it in to the slush. That'll freeze around on the outside. Use one of these scoops. Throw it down the other hole right now. There you go, and you're ready to fish. Nice. This thing has a heater, it's got fans to blow the heat around, which is pretty nice, and however hot you want it. Well, let's break 30, I guess, that's the goal. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Uh, I love business owners who are, uh, you know, hunters and fishermen themselves. It, uh, they just get it, you know? He's a fisherman, he's out here fishing, he's out here scouting. We're going back in, we're gonna check on Sam and uh, getting ready for prime time. Do you wanna be married for another year? <laughs> oh, I lost him. <laughs> no. Like Winnipeg, icebound, baby. Oh, there's another one down there. Oh my goodness, this is good. He's coming, he's coming. Oh. Green. Okay, if I didn't snag this fish, it's big. Those are big head shakes. This might be big. This might be big. Oh, you might be, I can't tell what's going on. Oh, it's a nice fish. He's just barely hooked. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah! Whew. There we go. We had to sort through some smaller ones. And in the dying hour, we got us a nice chunky mama. Oh, I didn't think it was big. Look at that. Oh, he's perky right there. I worked that fish for so long and finally he ate. Look at that big humpback going back. Icebound, baby. Good. Sweet. I'm, I'm surprised. You just, you never know when that big bite's gonna come. 
If that's our last fish, I'm very content with that. Uh, please check out Icebound, such a cool way to experience Lake Winnipeg. And uh, yeah, it just, it makes it easy. He's got the auger, he's got electronics. If you don't have electronics, it's, uh, it's a pretty sweet deal. Um, also, thanks to Sam for being married to me for a year. You've been the best wife ever. And uh, you've been put into a lot of situations which you probably wouldn't have been put in if it wasn't for being married to me. So thank you for dealing with all of it. All right, thank you guys. Mount of Greenbacks. Thank you for biting. That's it. Well, the video's not over. Sam had a little fight left in her. Oh, he's gone. He was little. We never saw it. We didn't even know if you had one. <laughs> Imagine being married to me. 366 days.